diverged to see a local boy who's made a national name for himself. As Ted Reinstein tells us, Shrewsbury's Mike Bur Burbiglia, excuse me, can't quite believe he's come this far. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Mike Burbiglia. He's been the star of several Comedy Central specials. I have a hard time waking up in the morning. Some people don't get it. Like, they get out of bed like they're getting off the bench at a basketball game. They're like, all right, let's do this, you know? Like, hands up, or whatever. I don't know, but, but I'm like a lame cow on the road. I'm just like, Mah. He's also had his own critically acclaimed off-Broadway one-man show called Sleepwalk With Me. I started having this recurring dream that there was a hovering insect-like jackal in our bedroom, which is the scariest animal one's brain can conjure, is a jackal that defies gravity. The play was presented by Broadway legend Nathan Lane, who was hugely impressed the first time he saw comedian Mike Birbiglia. Now the play has inspired a new book of the same name. A lot of what ended up being the best stories in the book or the best stories in my act are things that I was uncomfortable talking about for a long time. And then eventually, like, you know, like I'd tell the story to like my girlfriend or like my close friend or my brother and, and they'd laugh and I'd go, oh, you're laughing at that? The play and the book are in large part based on Birbiglia's bittersweet memories of growing up in Shrewsbury, Massachusetts, where today he and his brother slash business partner Joe have come back to the pizza joint they loved as kids. Nice to see ya. That would be Pete, owner of Shrewsbury Pizzeria. It was here that Mike developed what he says remains a crippling addiction to pizza pie. Do you remember me at all, even remotely? Very, just slightly. Just slightly. <laughs> encounters his old mailman, Jim Shaw, who's still on the same route. Shaw remembers the name Berbiglia, who can forget, and also the family's old address. Well, it was a pleasure to meet you. Nice to see you. What a pleasure. Good luck with the, uh, you know, whatever you do with me. <laughs> that's the level of really? are about to take their newly repainted van, the Mike Birbiglia bookmobile, on a cross-country tour. The idea is to hawk the new book at a series of live performances. As a way of getting really psyched for the journey ahead, they return to Shrewsbury, where Mike's comedy was born of an awkward youth. We're actually at Dean Park. This is where I failed at sports. I played Little League. It wasn't great. I played, you know, basketball. Never great. I was just like, I'm old. Every human saga has its triumphs. For Mike Birbiglia, his greatest triumph to this very day happened when he was a third grader at St. Mary's School. I was a writer always. When I was in third grade, I was uh, I was named author of the month, and they they put up the picture for about four months, so I ended up being kind of the author of four months by default. As an illustrious alum, Mike is invited to sit in the very classroom where he was an early superstar. This is where he nurtured the literary chops that got him through Georgetown University as an English major with an actual degree. Any questions? I'm confused about everything that's been said so far. <laughs> Third grade, that was my sweet spot. That was, that was my best year. Probably it goes to his former venue of shame, the gym class. Today, he's at least a larger version of his third grade self. challenge for Burbigs, as his fans call him. What is the premise of this event? He requests the legendary multicolored parachute, the mystery of his youth. I love this because I don't understand it at all. And it's just such a hilarious non-sequitur event that we do in PE. You say go, everybody throw it up, and I'm, I'm going to fly into the sky. Like a, like a hot air balloon. When I was a kid, I was just very ambitious. I knew losing. I wanted to be a comedian, a rapper, a break dancer. Probably was lucky because he knew at the age of 16 he wanted to be a comedian. I was going to tell you about my parents. I was just visiting them, and uh, I don't like them. They're like older, more boring versions of me. By his early 20s,
20s, he was already being featured on all the major talk shows. At the age of 32, he stands out in a sea of comics, but he's definitely not taking anything for granted. I'm just gonna keep performing and, and I'm not gonna count on it lasting forever. This is a big week for Mike Birbiglia. His Painfully True Stories Tour is at the Wilbur tomorrow night. Tickets are still available. And his new book, Sleepwalk With Me, arrived in bookstores today. If you're wondering how you know that voice of his, Birbiglia is a frequent contributor to the weekly public radio program, This American Life. She was plucked from Cambridge by the president. That's